There he is. Oh my goodness. Catch and release. Thanks, buddy. See ya. I could have limited out today if I was keeping them. Egg, yes. Oh my goodness. He got it. That's a big one. That's a big one. Oh my goodness. Dude, they're, they're, they are destroying. That's another good one, man. Hey, Rad Reelers, JC here with Rad Reeling Fishing. I gotta give credit where credit's due, right? Jonah from JTH Outdoors, he showed me where these sheep's head were at. He also taught me how to catch them on barnacles. Jonah painted the snook for me two years ago, had it shipped from Kentucky, all expenses paid. Anyway, JTH Outdoors, I'll put a link in the description area of his channel. Let me go over the gear real quick that I'm using because I know you guys always like to know what the gear is. 2500 BG, Daiwa BG spinning reel, 10 pound test braid, my Zebco hot cast rod, three years guys, this is my sheep's head rod. $10 at Walmart, I absolutely love it. Six and a half foot long rod in a 20 pound test monofilament leader. And I think about a number two hook, not a two aught, but about a number two hook. So anyway, caught the heck out of sheep's head. So let's roll these clips. All right, guys, this is how we get barnacles. Apparently, this is a husky scraper. I got this at either Lowe's or Home Depot, and I cut the handle off. It was like, you know, seven, eight foot long handle. I think these are used for like scraping tile and off the, like mastic off the floor and stuff. But anyway, I, I drilled the hole here, put a piece of paracord through so I won't lose it when I'm scraping barnacles. And, uh, yeah, we should be able to just grab a hold of it like that. You need you a net. I'm going to just hold our net down there and scrape away. Look at that. We already got a bunch of them in there. Good bunch of barnacles there. Oh yeah, got all kinds of goodies in there. Let's see, yeah. Yeah, we got quite a few barnacles. Oysters, oysters. I had some left over from yesterday. I just mix these in with it. Never have too many so you want to be able to chum with them but that's how we get our barnacles just need a net and a scraper is all find you a piling and scrape away see if we can find us some sheep's head bait shouldn't take long these guys like to hang out under the rocks Come on, there's a good one that's a good one there Wood crab number two. And make sure you wear gloves, man. See these guys that make videos catching mud crabs and they don't use gloves. Craziness. Just you're just asking for a trip to the hospital. The uh, stone crab's got more of a yellowish orange on him. This is your stone crab. Distinctly, you can see the little white stripes on his legs. Your mud crab, that guy's kind of black. He doesn't have much orange on him. He's got no stripes on his legs and his claws, look at his claws. They're really a, a dark color. Compared to the stone crab claw, it's kind of a creamy orange color. All right, guys, we got a pretty good amount of crabs here. I think that's enough. I got, a, I got at least two dozen in there, so. Went ahead and just put a little bit of water in there with them. Sheep, 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 sheep. Let, let me show you guys how we do this. I just, I got a bunch of barnacles, all right? I just, I scraped a bunch of barnacles off the channel pilings. And uh, so I wasn't scraping them off the private dock. And I'm just chumming with these barnacles. Just taking these, these barnacles. And uh, yeah, I'm just throwing some barnacles over there where the sheep said were hanging out try and keep them attracted over there and then I hook one on my hook let me show you how I'm hooking them so you've got what I would call the front side of the barnacle that's the part you always see on the piling 
but the back side is nice and smooth and that's where you want to put your hook in you can see that one just kind of went right in the middle and it came out of the middle in the front so throw some more barnacles up there just keep them chummed up I'm just kind of number one J hook and I'm using 20 pound test leader because this water is so clear and I've got 10 pound test braid 2500 size spinning reel and a my cheap Walmart rod I love this rod for catching sheep's head it's got so much flexibility you get a good hook set but these sheep's head when they make hard runs the rod really really absorbs a lot of that pressure Big one, big one, big one. Come on, get it, dude. Get it. It was right there where it fell. He didn't get it. He did get it. Oh, my God. He stole it right in front. I was looking right at him when he went over there. He took it right off. Of oh, here's a big barnacle. Dude, this one's going to be irresistible for that big sheep's head. This one's going to be irresistible. Let me back out of there a little bit. There's about four sheep's head down there in that... Around those pilings. One of them's a big one, man. One of them's a big one. clean me out clean me out I'm gonna try dropping a little crab down there no I'm not they're eating barnacles don't do that they are eating barnacles man give them what they want right He got it. He got it. That's a big one. That's a big one. Oh, he got me hung up. That's that big one. Big barnacle, big sheep's head. We lost him. That was a good one. Darn it. And maybe there's something to that, guys. Maybe they like the bigger, the bigger barnacles. I got one of these little spongy things on here. Oh, there we go. They do like those spongy things. That's another good one. That's another good one. There we go. We got this guy. We got this guy. Yeah, we got you, buddy. Oh, yeah. Love fighting sheep's head on this little rod, man. Oh, that's another good one. That's another good one, man. Heck, yeah. Heck, yes. Oh, my goodness. That's a tank there. Woo-hoo. Guys, that is a very good sheep's head. Very good one. Oh, see ya. There are some big ones down there. Holy buckets. Wow. Small hook, man. This is, it's like smaller than a number one. 20 pound test leader, 15 pound test braid. Whoo. Big barnacle. Let's try that again. That was fun. All right, guys. I got a, got a pretty big hunk of barnacle on there. Let's see if we can get one to hit. See if we can get another one. Man, I like this little dock right here. Actually, I love this little dock right here. This thing is this thing is holding the sheep's head, man. Holding some good sized ones too. Yeah, what I really like about this spot is I'm not fighting the wind and I'm not fighting the current. He's got it. There we go. Vision fish on oh man i could limit out today if i was keeping them i could have limited out today if i was keeping them definitely definitely could have got a mess of mess of sheep keeper sheepers oh my gosh my new favorite free bait 
See ya. Holy buckets, dude. They love these freaking barnacles. <laughs> All right, guys, definitely my new free favorite bait for catching sheep's head is barnacles. Easy to get when you're in a kayak. Just scrape the scrape the channel pilings, and you get plenty of barnacles. And uh, just chum up those sheep's head, flip you a barnacle out there, and bam, got another one. You guys are chowing down on the barnacles. See if we can get one to hit a little crab. Oh, they got my crab. They got my crab. We got some smart sheep's head down there. They are hitting the mud crabs. Never even felt the little guy. Never even felt him. Yep, there he is. There he is. He's got it. There he is. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he broke me off. That was a big one. That was a big one. Doggone it. That was a nice sheep's head I just lost. Let's see if we got another one up in there. I made two casts with the mud crabs and I had two hits. Boom, boom. Let's see if we can get another one. Yep, there he is. Look at that. There he is. He's, oh, dude, he came right underneath the kayak. Did he I think he dropped it. Yeah, he, he, he got me. Oh, they're all about the mud crabs, guys. They are getting on the mud crabs. Oh, Three casts and three hits. There's another one. Oh, dude. I missed him. Four casts and four hits. Look at the hook. He bent the hook. He can't catch him with a bent hook. I can see those little guys down there. Got a mud crab for you. Oh, oh, oh. These guys are in a frenzy down there. He didn't get it. I saw him. There he is. Oh, yeah, 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 oh, there we go, big sheep's head on the mud crab, cornhole, that's a, that's a tank, that's a tank, that's a good one there, that's a good one there, dude, they're, they're, they are destroying these mud crabs, wow, they are really, really hitting the mud crabs good, look at that, Look at that guy. Woo. That's the biggest one of the day right there. That is the biggest one of the day. Oh my goodness. That is a good sheep's head. They are just devouring the mud crabs. Devouring them. Nice. All right. Thanks for the catch. See ya. I got me a little sheep's head hole, man. I've been here two hours just having a good time. Just bite after bite after bite after bite. Heck yeah. I love it. I mean, the, but look at the pilings. My gosh, it's all crusty up there. Woo-hoo. Tearing them up. I've caught some big sheep's head here today, guys. I have caught some nice ones here. Woo-hoo. I wore that dock out. I spent about two hours over there catching sheep's head. Nice. I'm going to move to another dock. There's docks everywhere. All right. It's got to be a sheep's head right in there. I'm going to drop this crab down there. There's a giant one down. Holy smokes, that's a big sheep's head. He stole my crab. Must have been that one that came rush, rushing in. Mud crab. We are about to get hooked up, baby. Oh, there he is. There he is. There. We oh, dude. That's a nice one. I just saw another good one. There's some big sheep's head down here. Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. He's all wrapped up in the piling. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yep, yep, yep. That's a nice keeper sheeper. They are loving the mud crabs. They are loving the mud crabs. Catch and release. Thanks, buddy. See ya. Dude, I got one right here. I can see him looking at my crab. He's looking right at it. Come on. Get it, dude. Come on. You know you want it. You get it? Yep. There he is. There he is. Look at that. That's not the one that was looking at it, though. Back-to-back -back cast, though. <laughs> I looked down. There were three of them right next to the kayak. Nice. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah, the sheep's head bite is on. There we go. Thanks, buddy. See ya. Subscribe or I'll send this guy out to your next fishing adventure.